Hey guys, this is Mr. Grice for Algebra 2, Chapter 3.7, 3.9 Review. Ready to get started? Good. So am I. Directions for the first part say to graph the following inequalities and write the solution set in interval notation. So I'm going to zoom in and we are going to get started with number one. So number one. The first thing I need to know about number one, is that going to be a closed point or an open point? And of course, my pen is not working. So just hold on two seconds. OK, we're back. So first thing we have to do is let's take a look at that. Now, that symbol means two things. One, it means that it's less than. And then the other thing we need to know, is it going to be an open point or a closed point? And it's going to be closed. So what that means is when I'm graphing this at negative 2, I have a closed point. But then I need to shade everything to the, up. Oh, that's it. Mr. Christ, it's negative 2. Uh, no, it's not. Now it's a positive. Okay. Anyways. Now we have to shade everything to the left. OK, so as I'm writing this in interval notation, I want to know where do I begin? Well, this graph begins whew, all the way over there, which is at negative infinity. So at negative infinity is where we start. We always use the parentheses. And then I stop at positive 2. OK, and it equals 2, so that's why I use the bracket. All right, let's look at number 2. So number 2, we have two different ones that we're graphing, two different inequalities. OK, so first one, once again, this is going to be closed, and we're going to shade to the left. So I'll do this one in pink. So at negative 4, I'm closed, and we're going to shade to the left. Now our other one, we'll do blue. It's going to be open, and it's greater than. Greater than means we shade to the right. So at 0, I'm open, and then we shade to the right. OK, now for interval notation, since we have two of these, it starts all the way to the left, which is at negative infinity, and then it stops at negative 4. But then there's a union, OK? This is the OR right here. And then the graph picks up at 0 where it's open, so we use a bracket, and then it goes on to positive infinity. OK, so we're just combining the two of those together. OK, number three. So number three is another one that we got to pay close attention to. OK, now our first one at negative five, it's going to be closed. So at negative five, I'm going to make sure that I'm closed. Now at four. It's going to be open. So at 4, I'm open. And when we have a graph or an inequality that looks like this, that means we shade everything that's in the middle. OK, it's just a little shortcut. Like, hey, middle, perfect. Now, as we're doing our interval notation, we have a specific starting point, and that's at negative 5. And it's going to be a bracket. And then it goes all the way to 4. OK, a couple more. Come on. You can do a computer. OK, number 4. Let's take a look at our first one. All right, it's going to be closed, and we shade to the left. So at negative 2, I'm closed, and I shade everything to the left. And then our next one, I am open, but I also shade to the left. So 
open it one and then I shade everything to the left. So you can see how the two inequalities go on top of each other. But as I'm writing this out, I know I begin at negative infinity all the way to the left, but as I'm coming here, my graph finally stops at the positive one. Okay. All right, number five. Number five, I know it looks kind of funky because right away there's that fraction right there, negative nine fourths. What the heck is that? Well, if you don't know what nine divided by four is, plug it into your calculator and you get that it's about negative 2.25. Okay? So at negative 2.25, we are closed. And this one, you just have to do your best judgment. So 2.25, there we go. And then at neg uh, positive 5, we are also closed. Okay, well, Mr. Grace, how do you know that we're closed? Well, when you've got the line underneath it, it automatically means that it's closed. And just like we talked about in number three, it was that when it's written like this, this is an and, we shade the middle. Okay, so for interval notation, oh, it's a bracket, negative 9 fourths, and then also at 5, we have another bracket. All right, number 6. So here we go. X is less than 2, so at 2 we are open, and we shade to the left. So here I'm at 2, I'm open, and I'm going to shade everything to the left. And then at negative 1, we are closed, and we shade everything to the right, because greater than means we shade to the right. So, whoop, wrong one. So at negative 1, I am closed, but now I shade everything to the right. Well, what did I just shade? The whole graph shaded. Okay, so that means my interval notation, it starts at negative infinity, and then it goes to positive infinity. Okay, and there's 1 through 6. Now for the next one, we're going to have to solve and then graph. So we're going to have a little bit of work to do here. Now, when we're solving, we need to follow.